Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I have actually done another drawing. I can't quite get into frame the whole lot of it, but that's it here. There is a lot of presents <laughs> wrapped up in ribbon and bow, silver ribbon and gold bow, and they're rainbow presents with a pink background. So it's all significant, these colors and everything. I always um, have a meaning behind what I choose with that kind of stuff. So I'm going to explain the meaning behind this drawing and share a couple stories or a few stories and hope that this is an encouraging video to anyone watching. So it was inspired by the lovely Natasha from Treasure Books. I will link her channel below. I'm sure lots of you know her. She is amazing, a real treasure, a real gem. She was the one who tagged me in the 10 crafty questions when I did my own um, answering of those questions. I did a sneaky little giveaway at the end with this journal because I've got a blue one and this is the pink one. I don't like pink so I wanted to give this one away. That was always my intention. Um, and Natasha was actually one of the people who entered the giveaway and of course I just was like well if you like it it's yours it, done <laughs> because I thought that was only fitting that she was the one who tagged me and that not only that but it's just that we connected or well, I connected to what she said so much on such a heart soul deep level um, about the meaning of journaling why we journal why it means so much to us and because I'm giving away a journal, you know, I wanted to give it to someone who really connected with it on such a deep level the same way that I do. Um, but she actually um, messaged me later and said, oh, no, no, don't worry. It's OK. You give that to someone else, <laughs> um, you know, because ev everyone can relate to this. This is why I hope this is helpful to anyone watching, because we all tend to struggle with receiving gifts, don't we, I think? We can be like, oh, no, I'm not in need. No, 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 I feel guilty. I feel, ba I feel bad. Someone else can have it. Give it to someone else. I don't need it, you know. Um, <laughs> give it to someone else, basically. And I just, when I read her message, we went back and forth over this, so this is cool. We went real deep because <laughs> we like going deep. Um, and I was just saying, you know, uh, when I read her message, saying oh pass it on pass it on I was just like my heart sank <laughs> I felt crushed and I almost wanted to cry because I just wanted here I am I want to do a giveaway and I chose her for a reason and I wanted her the fact that she resonated she was talking about the color pink and she shared it in a 10 crafty questions that pink is her safe color her color that she wears at home and a journal for me is a home a journal is a safe place so I was like of course it's going to you then this journal and it made me so happy knowing that she would like it because I was thinking oh you know it's just a plain journal no one I don't know if anyone will want this you know but when she told me that story and how she connected with it I was like perfect that's even better she actually connects with it um, on a specific detail level of the color and yeah I was just so happy to give it to her and be connected to her and it was an honor and a privilege to con be connected to her through this journal you know I've got the blue one she's got the pink one we're journal twins all that kind of stuff connected by the 10 crafty questions um, and so I was kind of heartbroken when she said oh no 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 pass it on and so I I was a little scared about this, hi Keanu, but I, I knew she says in her video that she likes going deep and I was like, yep, yeah, me too, uh, let's go deep then. And I just went out on a limb and said to her, sorry, my cat's just grabbing my spool. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I just went out on a limb and said to her, you know, um, I, I get it, I totally get it. I, I'm like that too, lots of people are like this, Keanu, no, stop it. <laughs> I'm going to have to take this away and put it in a drawer. Hang on. All right. Yeah, so I was just saying, yeah, I get it. We all struggle with receiving and we can feel bad and we can feel guilty. But I was just explaining to her that it's my great joy and, you know, honor and privilege to give it to her. And please, please let me give it to her because it gives me something in return. When people receive a gift, it actually, in this great crazy paradox, gives something back to the giver. So when you're receiving, you're not just receiving, you're giving to the person who's giving to you by your, your just acceptance, <laughs> plain and simple, by your gratitude, by the fact that you're going to use whatever it is they've got, that you're going to enjoy it. That's what you're giving in return. 
Um, and if you kind of reject that, it feels like rejection. So I told her this story, which is the first time I've told this story. She said, you've got to share that on a blog post and your channel. And I was like, okay, if you think that, that's just a little push I need to do it. When I was a kid, so all throughout my life, I have had this pattern where if I want to give someone a gift and they reject it, I can literally be brought to tears because it, it does literally feel like heartbreak. Like I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm crushed. I'm devastated. I feel horrible. Um, and this is the first kind of real instance I can remember of what that feels like. So I'm going to share that story. So I don't know how old I was, um, primary school, um, age, kid. And, you know, just having dinner with my family at the family dining table. And we had, I don't remember what we had, but we had something with coleslaw. And coleslaw back then was like my favorite food, one of my favorite foods. And my brother, he also liked coleslaw. Like, I don't think it was his favorite, but I knew he liked it. And, you know, because I love my brother, I saved my coleslaw at the end of my plate. Like, I just saved it. And then I said um, to him that I was giving him my coleslaw. And... You know, I, this is something I'd thought about through the dinner. I was like, yep, yeah, I'm going to give him the coleslaw. I'm saving it for him because, you know, I love my brother and it makes me happy to give him something that I know he likes. But he said to me, no, 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 that's okay. You have it. And I was utterly crushed. <laughs> Um, he was being nice. He thought he was doing a nice thing. He he wanted me to have it. He was ha doing a nice big brother moment and saying, no, no, you're my little sister. You have it. You like it. You have it. But for me, what it felt like was rejection, that my brother had rejected me personally. Like he wasn't just rejecting my coleslaw. He was re rejecting my gift. He was rejecting the thought that I put into it. He was rejecting my feelings about it. He was rejecting me. <laughs> and I literally, it's quite embarrassing now, actually it was really embarrassing then too, I, I cried, I couldn't contain it and I'm not talking water in my eyes, I'm talking literally crying uh, and my sister had to soothe me, she um, you know took me away from the table and took me away into another room and just kind of comforted me <laughs> and you know that's my kind of little story of how much it felt horrible to me to have a gift that I wanted to give to be rejected. And yeah, Natasha was just saying, oh, wow, I've never seen it that way before. And it totally makes sense. But um, I think a lot of us can do that thing where we're like, oh, wow, that's so nice of you when you want to give me something. But I want to be nice back and say, no, 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 you keep it or give it to someone else without knowing actually that's crushing the person. <laughs> They're going to be so disappointed and so... <sighs> heartbroken. And I don't know if it's just me, but... Um, yeah, I get, I just feel crushed and feel rejected when someone doesn't want to receive my gift. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I was glad that that kind of gave her a change of perspective, a different insight into what it's like from the other person's side. And hopefully, yeah, um, as I share this story, that gives you the same insight and if you can just see something from someone else's eyes, just see something differently. I think that's just the most powerful thing sometimes. It's just, even if it's not a huge thing, um, to have a change of insight or perspective is amazing. That's why I love reading books. That's why I love getting to know people deeply. It's why I want to see things through other people's eyes. It's amazing. Anyway, so Natasha so graciously and kindly accepted my gift. And I'm so happy. Thank you, Natasha. I'm so, so happy you accepted it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's what I mean. Her receiving it gives me a gift. And now I'm grateful and saying thank you for her. Um, and I hope that comes across in this story. So, yeah, I, uh, this lesson of being a humble receiver, you know, I'm still on the journey. I was telling her that when people every now and then they might say, oh, can I grab your address because I want to send you something, a happy mail or something. And sometimes I can just feel like all the time I can feel, you know, like, oh, my gosh, that I feel terrible. I feel bad. I feel guilty. Don't send me anything. I, I just, you know, I'm not in need or anything. But I, I know from my own side that it can crush someone when you say that. And they can be totally disappointed when you say no. So now I, I say, you know, I appreciate that you want to send me something. By no means do you have to or am I expecting it. But if your heart so desires to, then 
absolutely I gladly accept whatever you want to send me if that's what your heart so desires so um, that's the way I kind of get across that but I was telling Natasha that I also do this thing where um, I feel like I owe people if they give me something so I don't ever want to crush anyone so I try to always accept if anyone ever wants to um, out of the goodness of the heart send me something I don't want to ever reject them and crush them so I say yes okay awesome thank you so much I will gladly accept it and enjoy it but I then feel guilty still and I still feel indebted to them and like I owe them so I have this mental filing cabinet in my mind where I just have a list of all these people who have sent something to me whatever it is they don't even have to send something to me they could have just supported me or said something nice to me and I will want to write them a letter or write them a card or send them a card just saying something nice back or um, send them a journal if they send me a journal I want to send them a journal if they send me happy mail I send them happy mail that kind of thing but I know that that is actually me doing something totally unnecessary um, because when I give like I'm giving this to Natasha right as a gift I don't want her to feel indebted to me at all. That's the worst thing. I think that's horrible. I would feel terrible if she felt indebted to me. I would feel absolutely horrible if she was like, oh, now I owe her. No, 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 no. I just simply want her to enjoy this, make use of it, love it, and treasure it. That is all. Because um, if anyone ever feels, if I give something to someone and they feel bad, that's the wrong, wrong feeling <laughs> that I want them to feel. If, if I give something to someone, it's because I want them to feel happy and grateful and joyful and excited and no guilt not an ounce of shame or not shame of feeling guilty and not feeling bad at all I just duh, that that's I don't ever want to make anyone feel bad ever <laughs> um, and I know that when we give gifts sometimes it can make people feel bad and guilty so but that's on us that's on us as a receiver to learn and that's why I'm saying like I'm still on the journey to learn how to humbly and graciously and gratefully receive gifts without feeling guilty, without feeling bad, and without feeling like I owe anyone. So I'm trying to do that. <laughs> um, I, I always go by, you know, you know, of course, everyone does this, treat people the way you want to be treated or that kind of thing. And so I know when I give a gift to someone, I don't want them to feel bad. So therefore, I'm trying to put in place when people give me a gift I'm trying not to feel bad and I'm trying not to feel like oh I have to send them something now you know like um, it's just gonna be I will gladly receive as a humble receiver you know it takes I was also saying this it takes great strength sometimes and great humility to actually just receive say thank you and then not give anything in return and live with that without feeling bad and not feeling guilty because you know that the other person all they want to do is give you a gift not wanting anything in return <laughs> or not expecting or there's no pressure at all I always just say if your heart wants to do something then just do it <laughs> but if it if it comes from a place of feeling bad or indebted well then yeah of course still if you want to give but it's not as not as um, not the right heart I suppose is what I'm getting at <laughs> um, yeah so what, what what am I saying um, yeah just the idea that I try to turn around what I do back um, I'm not explaining I don't have the words ah I don't know what I'm saying um, I just try to apply apply my beliefs into my actions I guess and because I believe you know I'm giving a gift just so that they can enjoy it without getting something back I now have to put that into action in my own life that's my responsibility for myself to look after my own mind and heart and look after my own motives and just work out hang on why am I doing this why do I feel this what am I thinking here and teasing all that out and then going okay now what do I do <laughs> and knowing oh no no it's okay I don't need to feel indebted. I don't f need to feel like I owe anyone. I don't need to feel bad or guilty. I can just gratefully and graciously accept a gift that someone out of the goodness of their heart is wanting to give because I know that's how I give what I'm giving to others. <laughs> so case in point, this journal and any giveaway that I do on my channel is the same. It's always just 
because I want to do it, because my heart wants to do it. Um, and I'm not ever wanting anything in return or expecting anything in return. Uh, so just want to put that out there because <laughs> I don't want anyone to ever feel bad or guilty if they're given a gift by me. That's just the bottom line there. <laughs> just feel totally joy at what you're getting is the aim. Uh, and that's the joy of gifts, right? Like, it's not even about the gift in the end sometimes. Sometimes uh, the reason I want to give a gift is not so that you have a journal. It's so that you feel loved. It's so that you feel special. It's so that you know that there's someone out there who took the time and effort to think of you and put something together and send it in the mail and, you know, and now you get it. And that, that can be a symbol of, wow, okay, someone thought about me. Someone actually cares. Someone gave me this gift. And I do matter and I'm worth this gift. You are worth whatever gift you were given. That's another thing. We can feel um, unworthy of a gift. We can feel like we, we can compare ourselves to others and go, no, 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 they deserve that gift more than me. And what I say to that is, uh-uh, we all have equal worth. <laughs> we all matter equally. And whatever, you gifts, whatever gifts you get, receive them gladly and I'm not talking about me or anyone or giveaways I'm just talking about in general in life the food that we eat the rainbows um, Christmas presents birthday presents whatever if someone just gives you a random gift anything just don't feel bad about what you're given the best response is just to be grateful and enjoy it and then what we can do is out of what we've received give in return to others not out of feeling like we owe anyone but out of just abundance out of knowing oh I've been given so much and I want to give to others and that's my heart is to give to others out of gratitude for what I have not out of feeling like I owe anyone uh, yeah and I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys I hope it came across right with my words and everything um, talking like this <laughs> like that's why I like writing much better because I can you know think before I write and actually write something that makes sense <laughs> and coherent um, and when I'm on YouTube I just kind of you know talk 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 and who knows what comes out of my mouth <laughs> and I just hope and I, I pray that um, God uses me and my words um, to encourage you guys I suppose um, yeah <laughs> um, cool gifts we're all on a journey to be a humble receiver and this picture represents that as called the humble receiver and yeah each gift is a different color because it kind of represents the fact that there are so many different gifts in the world you know it's endless <laughs> and god just gives pours out gift after gift on us people give gift after gift onto us um and also though i want this to represent that each of us is a gift um our unique personalities backgrounds experiences talents we all are gifts equally and share who you are <laughs> and every one of us is a gift and every one of us can give gifts and I love that oh it's so good <laughs> um, and the pink oh sorry the yellow the why I did the big one yellow is because yellow for me represents joy and that's why I give gifts is so that makes the person feel joy and so that they can in enjoy there's a reason why the word enjoy has the word joy in it um, so that they can enjoy the gift and the reason why there is the pink background is because it represents Natasha and this journal, the pink journal, the pink of safety and of home and that connection to her. So that's what that represents. I am going to scan this and I'm going to give a copy to the lovely Natasha. <laughs> so I'll send that to her along with the journal. Thank you, Natasha, for encouraging me with your words encouraging me to share whatever's on my heart encouraging me to write um she just said such lovely things about sharing stories and my ability to write and just it really affirmed for me again you know I, I do believe I'm called to be a writer but every now and then I can doubt it um but when people connect with something that I write and let me know <laughs> that just lets me know wow oh my gosh okay yes this is actually the thing I am meant to do the thing that just gives me so much joy to write and to share stories with the aim of encouraging people so 
that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I think I'm going to, um, yeah, I said I was maybe going to do a blog post and she's like, yes, you've got to do a blog post. I'm like, all right, I'm just tossing up whether I have a website or a blog or whatever I do. If you have any ideas about that, if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see, if you want to see a website from me or a daily blog from me or a blog post a day, oh, sorry, a blog post a week where I just share my insights and reflections, maybe a photo or a picture or what I'm working on. I don't know. Um, but in, my, in the past, I have had blogs where all I did was write my daily reflections and lessons and insights um so if you're up for that just let me know um and i'll get that on onto that sooner rather than later it will happen eventually um it's just a matter of when <laughs> anyway thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye